How old does Alan Gray look to you? 65? 70? He's 81. In his own head, though, he's still 13. Oh, Alan Gray, nomads. Can't you see I'm using the road? When Terrain Tamer organised a couple of these grey nomads to learn about trip preparation, Alan is less than impressed. Oh, they're over the hill. Now I've got a couple of old blokes I've got to keep an eye on in case they're dying of heart attack. We'll need full-time defibrillation equipment. We'll need nurses on hand. Who knows? Will Alan learn to be patient? Or will he come out of this looking like the grumpy old man? Yeah, well, you know what old blokes are like. They want to chew your ear off, tell me stories from way back. Oh, I don't have time for that sort of thing, you know? We're going to have a look at the steering. What uh, What do you reckon we should look at first? Oh, the tyre rod end looked a bit ordinary. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. And the steering link, link had that bend in it. OK, well, yeah. there you go. Sounds I'll good. just stand back here and do all the work. Okay. Now, the difficult part of the process begins, the dismantling. This is always time consuming and often problematic. There you go, buddy. Ash removes the steering damper so it can be replaced later. Done. This is a tie rod end removing tool. And the way that it works, we're gonna actually screw that down. That's gonna squash those jaws together, push that out. But in this case, it doesn't fit under there too good because that's not a normal tie rod end. It's a drag link end, but it's in various types, and this particular type doesn't lend itself to the operation of this tool. No, that's no good, man. It's got me fingers jammed in there. Oh, good, we'll go for lunch. Yeah, again? <laughs> you just had breakfast. Right, give us a hand here, man. With the tool not working on removing the tie rod end, it's time to try a more archaic method. Get like that sometimes. Need a bigger hammer. I'll tell you what we could do. I've got a good leverage under there, which is your cut hand. I'll hit that instead of the other one. Yeah, right. Nope. Put this bigger one in, mate. Does size actually matter? I'll take your glass off so it only hit your eyes. No. So we, we've got a problem with these tyrant ends, they're tapered, they probably haven't been out since brand new. They're corroded or jammed or rusted uh, and they get terribly tight and the only way to do is to sort, distort this uh, taper and, and they spring out. And it will come out. There we go. Oh, did I slip? Have you ever been replaced by a machine? Now, when you see it slide off the hoist, you know we're high enough. So with the jack holding up the crowbar, it's time to get physical again. Fixes me every morning. Anything. All right, okay. thanks, bud. This is going to come off, off, off. You'll give up before I do, buddy boy. I don't make coke like they used to. We need Thor's hammer around here, I reckon. Next step is to use heat to expand the metal. All right, I stand aside. We've got the CIG spanner coming up, eh? I'm mucking around with that pussy looking thing you've got. Do you want to give it a shot like that, just in case it did do something? Okay, let's have a look at this. That's it, mate. All it does is need to frighten it. Sometimes you sit it there and you say, this is what's going to happen to you if you don't behave. That's only one side of the tie rod end off. On the other side, Al gets straight down to business. She's all right. All right? No, keep hitting. That's it. Is it there? Look at that, smart Alec. This is the culprit. It rocks in really tight. Very interesting here. Now we've disconnected this and this should be free, so it would be nice, firm, side to side. This has got Brunel or, or uh, worn uh, bearings top and bottom. Because it's been the straight air position, hammering around, hammering around, it's actually jammed in the straight air position. You feel, look at that. Yeah. Just yeah. feel that. that that's Just incredible. Centers, I, I, yeah. Why I want you to see it, because it's not common, but it's... Uh, Just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Imagine you never keep that straight ahead. It would want to wander and wander and wander. It'll just yeah. recenter it. Yeah. In fact, Alan was so excited by his find that he called the cavalry in to have a look. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, that's why I was quite excited too to show you and, and to show how you can overcome it. You guys are starting to get into gear, aren't you? I would remind you of the trouble we had in the first few days, you know. Before it's installed, it's important to check that the new tie rod end has the same taper and thread diameter as the old one. That's about it. 
And where's the tire one in? Is this, this is the old one? She, ah, it's hot. You wouldn't tell me it's hot, would you? It's pretty shot, boy. Okay, so we're going to replace these with a new terrain timer. A new release, it is a new uh, turret end which has got a high carbon content. Uh, it's a softer centre which makes it ductile and, and it makes it tough. It's stronger than original equipment by miles. And uh, Diana put them on this vehicle so we can get on the road again. If we can get these young blokes into action again and we'll get it done. Let's yeah, put the drag link in. Pop that one off. It'll go on quicker than it come off, boy. You've pinched all me movement there, man. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, all right. When we're putting a new rod in like this, when we've finished, we've got to do an alignment, so that's going to alter, but when we're finished, we want to make sure that that clamp is in an area where it's not going to hit that on a full oh, lock, right. okay? Yeah. So we get it up here, out of sight, but I try and also put these slots, see these slots? Yes. I want them downwards if we finish, you can help. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're going to get full of mud get and dirt and water, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. and the other thing is about it, that when we're finished, we want both, rod, both ends up or down. Uh, we, we don't want one twisted one way and one twisted the other, then you won't be able to move them at all because that'll stop you moving it this way at one end and this will stop you moving it that way at the other end. All right. Ash gets on to installing the new tie rod. So we've got a steering damper here that we've got to put on there. It's a really good unit. I'll just give you a look at a couple of features of it. This particular one, it's got a ball joint at each end, which I reckon is brilliant. It's because there is misalignment, they can't help it. It just, as it goes up and down and twists around. And these are brilliant. I've, I've gone away a weekend on the project vehicle. And, and one of the other guys went away in, a, in another vehicle and his hands were nearly blood red, you know, ripped off with all the rocks and things he went over. Mm. Okay, so you know it's right when there's no lost movement at all. Mm. And, and we'll pull it out to uh, whatever you do, just, just make sure that it doesn't lay down, upside down after that. Okay, let's put it on, we'll stop looking at it and we'll right, make okay. it do its job. Okay guys, we've done the steering and the uh, wheel bearings. The last thing we want to do is put the uh, frill hub on. Um, what do you reckon about putting the freewheel hub in? Do you know these precautions? Well, I know it's got to be in freewheel, but uh, well, I'm, that I'm not positive. What do you reckon, mate? Oh, uh, well, stop. It's got to be uh, all meshed up correctly to go yeah, with. No, yeah. that's not really reason. I'll just have to grab this off you for a yeah. minute. In freewheel, that's back in here safe. Yeah. If you put it in lock, yeah, it sticks out there, yeah. and these springs can get damaged putting them on no, and they'll okay. exit. Once you damage the spring and it doesn't sit parallel, it, 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 it's a real problem. So right. always put it in, in, in free first, so it's tucked back in its little cave, yeah. put it all on, and then just check it as you put okay. it on. All right, guys, that, that'll, uh, you've done pretty well for today. Uh, I think they will call it a day. Okay. Right. okay. We'll just get this clip on and we'll call it quits. As long as that's all you've called it on camera. <laughs> all right. Terrain Tamer, parts that will get you home.